Y nos está back para hacer que nos está continuando con nos está contento de tiempo junto con nos, sabe nos está ya razón, un día más contento de saludarlo, un bendición si está vuelvo a join nos, welcome to the show. Nos promete invitado con los que conversar a hoy está Daniel. Nos está conocer Daniel aquí en la Teleruba, pues es un stagiar que ha venido por de Inglaterra. Y ya está aquí dan para hacer aquí hace su periodo de stage. Pero ya está llegando a su final, para ser aquí y va a ir a su país, me da seguro que un bonito recuerdo. Para nosotros, nos quiero introducir Daniel. Daniel, good morning. Good morning. Thank you nice for having me. Nice to talk to you. Uh, how has it all started? So basically, I'm here with an organization called Everything is Possible. Everything um, is Possible. Is possible, It's yeah. The name of the... Possible. Okay. <laughs> um, so it's an English organization. They work in Europe, but they also work in Aruba. Um, and it's basically getting volunteers into any kind of work experience that they might need, any kind of volunteering that might be helpful to the communities in those countries. Um, so funnily enough, I know the organizer. Uh, she's a family friend of my cousin's. Um, so she came to me one day while I happened to be up at my cousin's house and she said, Um, I heard that you would like some TV and film experience. I was like, okay. I certainly do. Um, she said, we have a new project running at Tele Aruba in, a, in Aruba. And I was like, okay, let's go for it. But Aruba was not in your plan? No, not at this. all. I actually was a receptionist at a secondary school. Um, very much enjoyed it, loved who I work with, but it wasn't what I was wanting to do in the long run. Um, I was always wanting to work in TV and film. But in the UK, it's quite tricky. You're not able to get into volunteering or work experience in TV mm -hmm. stations as easily. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, uh, Claire Brown, who is the organizer, um, she kindly said, look, we're, we're pioneering something at Tele Aruba. Would you like to be the first? And I said, yeah. Wow. But I, I really, outside of the Beach Boys song, I hadn't really heard of Aruba, <laughs> I will admit. Um, so. Yeah, that's how I got here. Wow, For three wow. months I've been here. And what can you? What is your experience uh, that you got? I mean, it's it's been absolutely incredible. Um, I leave in a couple of days, and I will say that I'm going to miss it terribly. Um, so I've been here three months. Um, I was given the option: Do you just want to work fully at Tele Aruba in the television station, or would you also like to experience some other media? Mm -hmm. And I said, as much as you can give me. Um, so i worked with arteza as well that's my other organization project mm -hmm. um so i've been really lucky actually while i've been here they've had the art week so it was the art fashion show and the um the art fair which was over a three-day weekend where they uh, showed local artists international artists mm -hmm. um actually i was very interested in starting some experience where I got to interview and luckily enough they were able to give me some work where I was able to interview the muralists who created the street art in San Nicolas mm -hmm. um, so that was very exciting for me because wow. uh, I love to write and I, I really hadn't had an opportunity in a professional setting mm -hmm. to do that before so, so while I've been there I was also uh, involved in the administration um, in the gallery, so manning the gallery, yeah. selling art, oh, things wow. like that, so yeah. Nice, nice. In, in the beginning, when you started, it's, it's kind of, of uh, difficult to integrate in the way how we in the Caribbean here and on this uh, beautiful island doing things. It's different than yeah. you I do it. How you integrate yourself in this business? Well, we're really lucky, actually. We got to uh, we got to do a couple of papiamento lessons. Yeah. So um, you got papiamento lessons? Yeah, I oh, will okay. say I'm not very good, and I'm definitely not fluent. <laughs> um, but I can say fondue, fondue, all, all okay. the natural things to Basic. get along. Okay. Um, so I feel very lucky that everyone has been thankfully so kind in speaking English, and um, you know our other flatmates, the other volunteers that mm -hmm. I have here. Um, some of them are Dutch, um, some of them speak Spanish, so um, it's been really interesting in how we've integrated because we've all helped each other out. Mm -hmm. um, but in general, I think the thing that has helped me settle in the most is just how lovely everyone on the island is. I was told it's a really lovely island, 
I'm very safe, people are very kind. And I thought, you know, that sounds, you know, kind of like a travel agent and trying and to get felt, me to come and, to the and country. You felt that too. But I felt that mm -hmm. every single person, whether it's uh, here at Tele Aruba, down in San Nicolas with Arteza, you know, just anyone, uh, everyone has been really helpful and kind. They, you know, they love the fact that I'm English. They like the English accent, mm -hmm. which has been very funny to me because I don't, I think I have a silly accent. <laughs> but yeah, everyone has been really, really warm and welcoming. Now you're leaving uh, Tel Aruba and uh, what was the best experience that you got here with, together with us? Oh, it's, I mean, everything has been fantastic, obviously. I've been lucky enough to write a bit for the Christmas program for the, for the film segment. That was, that was fantastic. Another bit of writing that I've been able to do. Um, I will say that when we went off-site for the Lindy's Boutique fashion show, mm. that was a highlight. Um, it's just very glamorous. Uh. I'm not used to any of this kind of glamour. So, okay. Um, Why not? Why not? I just am a very plain, plain Jane, so <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic to go to and watch everyone at Tele Aruba just work so hard to provide a really fantastic experience for the viewers at home. Actually, actually, you're missing the best part huh, of the season, is the carnival season was the biggest event that's happening, and yeah. but yeah, you will be back, I think. Yeah, absolutely, and I will say I was able to go to the torch parade um, and the youth elections at the weekend, so okay. I've had a little bit of a taste of how in, you know impressive it is, but I will miss it. And you had also some experience with this show, this morning show, uh, Nosma yes. Inta. And I, I saw you working with all the guests who's coming in and uh, taking notes. So how you experienced that? It's been brilliant. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, Alison, who I've been shadowing through this process, um, obviously there's lots of things to do and she has a lot to focus on. So she said, if I wanted to, would I like to help coordinate the guests? And I thought, yeah, that'd be really interesting because you get to meet so many new people and the people who come on Nosme Inter are usually here for a fantastic cause. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, really excited that she was able to give me that opportunity because it meant that I could talk to people who are working for charities, mm -hmm. you know, who are doing events, things like that. So, and it also helped me to speak a little bit of Papiamento. Yeah, so. <laughs> also, yes, yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah. So what are you going to bring now to your friends? In, uh, in the UK? I mean, I'm going to be telling everyone that they need to come to Aruba, that's for sure. Um, I think I'm just going to be bringing this whole experience back with me. I think, you know, before I came here, I was maybe a bit uptight and um, a little bit strict, whereas I feel like I'm going back feeling a bit more Reuben, a little mm -hmm. bit more chilled out. I've also, you know, I'm going to be bringing back an amazing amount of experience and actually skills and professional knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I really do feel that this is going to help me in my career. Um, so yeah, I'm very thankful. And your mother, uh, uh, what's, uh, they are waiting for you. Yes, she is. Um, funnily enough, um, we actually, she moved house while I was here. So okay. um, she, we're scattered all over the UK. So once I go home, it's gonna be about a week and then I will be taking the train down to see her, but I'm very excited. Just to get back in the program that you yes. uh, are busy with, there are some others yes. who's gonna take it over from you? Um, come, uh, experience not, what you have? Not at Tele Aruba, um, not for now. We'll probably have some more people coming in. Uh, but Arteza, yes, we've got a new girl there. Um, she'll do fantastically. She's really passionate about art and she's very dynamic, so. I think she'll do well. Um, we've also got the other volunteers who are starting again. Uh, they work at the Donkey Sanctuary. They work with Ibiza, uh, with De Palm. So we really have a range of things that everyone's doing um, and all of them are loving it so far. Okay, so. and uh, to, to conclude this, uh, what is the final, what is your next journey? So, I mean, having worked here, I think I, can't go back to the UK and not do something in TV and film. Um, being so lucky to have been at Nosme Inter and to have got this TV and film experience, it really has confirmed for me that this is what I'm passionate about. So 
uh, everything that I'm applying so for. So maybe in the future <laughs> we're going to see you in a James Bond movie. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe producing it, who knows? You know, Thanks no. to you guys. Hey, nice, nice. Danielle, um, in the name of Nosma Inta, I can talk about that. Uh, we like to say thank you for your participation. Oh, thank you. And uh, you bring back the best memories of this yeah. beautiful island. And we hope we can see you back uh, very soon and on a vocation level. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for having me. Thank you. That's nice. You have to say something? You want to say something? It's all for you now. Um, just thank you to Telluriva in general um, and everyone who's had me, um, especially to Alice and Kathleen, you guys. Um, thank you for supporting me uh, while I've been here. It's, you know, it's been a very busy time and there wasn't really space for me to be here. Mm -hmm. And everyone has been so kind and given me work and really allowed me to, you know, confirm that this is my passion, this is what I want to do. So um, thank you to Everything Is Possible as well for getting me in here. Good and, sir, good sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. This thank is Aruba. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank